In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to format dates and times. Remember this scenario that we built out where we grab the weather of a specific city and then we update a Google Sheet that looks like this? And do you remember how the times just looked ugly like this? I'm gonna show you guys how we can clean that up so that it looks more clean, more appealing. But first, I want to show you guys a really cool trick in make.com. I want to keep this scenario. I don't wanna work with this scenario while I show you guys how to format dates. So I'm gonna hold down the shift button and then I'm gonna click and drag and it's gonna highlight this entire scenario. What I can do with this is I can copy it, copy modules, or I can just hit command C and then let's make a new scenario. Create a new scenario and we're just gonna hit command V or you can right click and do paste. And you can see that everything pops up but I don't want to work with the Gmail or Slack modules. So I'm gonna hit shift and then drag over these two modules, right click and delete. We're gonna right click and delete the router as well. And we're gonna drag the Google Sheets to reconnect it to the weather app. Realign, voila. Everything retained its original settings and configurations. Click save. Let's run this once and let's see what it does. We go back here to our spreadsheet and it looks like it is running successfully. But these dates, man, they are just gross to look at. So let's fix that. Let's come back here to make.com, click into the Google Sheets module. Let's scroll down. These times, dates and times are found in the D and E column. In order to format them, we are going to use the format date function. So right before the data point right here, sunrise and sunset, we're going to click into this field. And then right here, this window is going to pop up. On the top row, you're gonna see a list of all of the other functions that are available in make.com. Right now, we are just gonna focus on the date and time functions. So just come up here to the calendar icon, click on that, and then down here underneath functions, you are going to find format date. You can go ahead and click that, and it's gonna show up in the text field like this. Now that's one option to find and add a function to a field or if I have a function already memorized, I can just type it. So format, date, open parentheses, and we're in. Now I just have to complete the function and map the data accordingly. You can see this window pops up showing you how to go about setting up this function. We've got three options. We can format it so that the outcome looks like this, or so that the outcome looks like this, or like this. Pretty cool, right? A lot more clean and appealing to look at. So from here, we're basically just following the pattern. So We've got format date as the function, open parentheses. Now we need to plug in our data. In the very top, you can see in the first field, we have the date. We are going to plug in our variable, our date. In this case, it is sunrise. We are going to plug that into the very first slot and then hit semicolon. And as you can see, now it changed to format. We are in the format slot. How are we going to format this data? If we want it to look like this, 12, 28, 2016, we just follow these guidelines. So we've got the first field already formatted, right? This is basically just the sunrise variable that we already have plugged in. Now we're in the next field, which is how do we want it to format? And we want it to format like this, month, month, day, day, year, 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 year. So we'll just do mm slash dd slash one, two, three, four, four Ys. And then to finish this off, we are going to close parentheses. Let's click OK, click Save, run once, and see how it looks in Google Sheets. So now you can see that the date is properly formatted to this. A lot more clean, right? What if we want to include the time as well? Let's come back here to make.com, back here to Google Sheets, and let's do it for the sunset this time. So before sunset, right, we're going to click right before sunset, or for this matter, if, if we don't have anything mapped, let's try this. If it's just a blank field, let's just click into the text field. Let's type format, capital D for date, open parentheses. Now we need to plug in our first variable, which we can see right here is date. That is going to be the sunset time. And then semicolon. And we want to include the time as well. So we want the output to look something like this, right? Let's follow this format. So we've got the date, boom. So we've got our data, boom. Now we need it to format like this. So we're just basically going to copy this or type this right here into this field. So one, two, three, four Ys, dash two Ms, dash two Ds, space, two lowercase Hs, colon, two lowercase Ms, space, capital A, close parentheses. What is capital A, you might ask? 
That is just an indicator for AM or PM. The A stands for both. I'll show you what that looks like. So let's go ahead and click OK. Click Save, run once, come back here to our spreadsheet and see what this looks like. So even though you can see that we had the capital A at the very end, Again, that's just an indicator to either insert AM or PM. Right now I'm in the evening, so it automatically understood that it's just PM. And we've got this formatted date. Okay, cool. Now you can see back here in make.com in the format date function, there's another option. There's another field for time zone. You can see as we come down here to the very bottom and we scroll all the way over to the very right, there is a third field where we can enter in our location. So for example, Europe, Prague. We're going to say America, New York. So let's follow this format, but we don't want the date to look like this. We want it to look like this with the time correctly associated with New York. So right after capital A, we are just going to hit semicolon. And now you can see we are in the time zone field. It's bolded and it's underlined. So that just shows you which field you are currently in. Right now we're in date, now we're in format. And right here we are in the time zone. Let's type in America, New York. Click okay, click save, run once and let's see what it looks like in Google Sheets. So you can see that the date format stayed the same. The date apparently changed because now this just reflects the current time in New York, which is 2.25 a.m. on the following day. Let's come back here to make.com. Let's get rid of this capital A and see what happens. Click OK, click Run Once, and then let's see what it looks like. Oh, it just got rid of the a.m. and p.m. So the format date function, it's really useful. It's pretty straightforward. And that is kind of basically just an intro into all of the other functions available on make.com because they all follow kind of the same pattern where you click a function. For example, let's come back here to just basic text functions and let's just capitalize, you know, some text. We're gonna click right here into this field in between the parentheses and this window is going to show up again, right? Where it has an example with an example format basically just walking you through how to set it up. So all we have to do for the capitalized function is to just insert some data right here that's just text, a text value. So if we just say hello in all lowercase, click okay, click save, run once, we'll see that in column F we now have hello that is capitalized. Functions are really cool. They can get kind of advanced, not gonna lie. So we're gonna save that for another video where we will do a deep dive on functions. Thanks guys.